Hi, Pepsi, two two, and little Mojo. What's 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 she saying? She's saying, "Give me some gin." Ooh. Where's my mum? His tongue. That's Pepsi know, that with exciting? the tongue out. Yeah. Well, and two two, 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 our little drama queen. And Mo likes the action more than anybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, Mo, what, what's this one? This is and this is our distiller, Steve He's the best looking one. Thank you. So, come on. Here we are. I don't know where Fash is. I'm a bit embarrassed to say you've got me today, folks. Yep. So, I've brought another one to help us, and it's please meet Hugo the Pug. I am the fourth pug today, aren't the I? fourth pug. Can you hear me through this? Yeah. Happy days. Yeah. What are you saying? What am I saying? Welcome, Hugh. Christine. Thank you, Hugo. I tell you what, I've took <laughs> one for the team in here, aren't I? Can barely see. I think we're owed a tenner. <laughs> yeah, they've, they've had a wager on, on me wearing this. I said I would. To the end. To the end. Oh, well, no. We That's not going to happen. I can do it. I can do it to the end, I reckon. Um, right, anyway... I'm Hugo the Pug, and I'm here to introduce Christine from Free Pugs Distillery. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. Right, we've got a right story here. We've got some great value offerings for you. And we've got Steve. Steve, just pan over to Steve. Steve is the master distillery, the master distiller. How are you, Steve? I'm all right, I'm sound. How are you, Hugo? I'm all right, then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> you take it off if you want. Right, so I'm just going to come up for air and I'll go back down. So 2015, Christine and Steve set up Three Pugs Distillery. We've got a great, great story behind it. Uh, you've got loads of enthusiasm. Tell me how it all started. We went to a gin tasting as a local wine merchant and um, nine tables, speed gin tasting, 15 minutes each table. We'd got all of them at home in my gin cupboard, so I felt a bit cheated. Proceeded to get... A little bit tipsy, you know how we do? As you do. Got to the last table, it was Forest Gin, our Carl from yeah. Forest. He'd set up six months previously. I was so inspired by his story, I told the world that we were going to make our own. Steve said, you're away with the fairies. And here we are, away with the fairies in 2021. Fabulous. So, just want to move quickly. So... You've been going, in, in that time that you set up in 2015, you went, you've gone through peaks and troughs. So there was a gin boom when you set up. There was. So talk to me about that and how what you did within 12 months, which is a great achievement. Okay, within 12 months. We um, thought about it in 2015. We built the distillery in our garden in May 2016. That was the no turning back point. That was the leap of faith. And then we hit the the issues around licensing and HMRC and AWS licenses and I didn't know my arse from my elbow quite frankly yeah. I didn't know what we were doing never been in this industry before if I'd known I probably wouldn't have done it but it was such a fascinating journey and the aim was to earn some money to pay our holidays so that we weren't poor pensioners sat on the couch yeah. and we're not old people I was 58 at the time 62 now um, You've not aged a bit, by the way. Thank you, my darling. You didn't know me then, but I'll take that. I don't mind taking compliments. It's good. So the first one we did was our signature gin. Yeah. Which is award winning now. Yeah. But well done, Steve. Yeah. Award winner. So what award has it won? It's won the London Spirits Competition 2020 Bronze Award. Fabulous. Against lots of international participants too. So... We're quite proud of that from being a little distillery in little old Warrington. Brilliant. So you're based in Warrington. They're a North West distiller. Yeah. They're a local business. So yeah. we're trying to encourage you to buy local, stay local. 
You are listed in somewhere very predominant. We what, are. Tell us about that. Within the first 12 months of uh, launching, November, t November 2016, by December 2017, we'd got our black currant blend on the shelves in Selfridges which was amazeballs, absolutely fantastic. Couldn't believe it, a bit of a shock to the system. And, and so proud, they're our pub charms. So, so they're handmade as they're well? They're handmade, we put them together watching Coronation Street, so we call them our Coronation Street wow. charms. Brilliant, <laughs> brilliant. So you're listed in Selfridges, yeah. um, and then gonna fast forward to the present day, Selfridges, so I'm just gonna spin to this one, because yeah. we're gonna go through pricing and yeah. the deals in a sec. We're gonna spin to this one, I'm just going to stick this out and tell what happened with Selfridges and this specific flavour. On my 60th birthday, two years ago, um, 7th of February, we met the buyer from Selfridges in Trafford Centre and he wanted us to do an exclusive blend. Um, so I asked him what the blend would be and then if it was shit, he couldn't blame me. So we went with apple, apple flavours, and um, we ended up with our apple crumble gin liqueur, which is absolutely divine with rhubarb tonic it's like yeah. a british sangria you mentioned that to me it works really absolutely well absolutely gorgeous and on the label you can see the pugs are in a pile with their baker hats on because they went for the recipe to get it from the baker at the bakery i'm just going to spin it round there so if you look at the back you can see a handwritten batch note and this is batch 001 so these are few and far between and christine herself has listed them on her own website yeah and also the specific and exclusive to Selfridges, yeah. but also you give us access to sell these. Limited amount. Limited today. amount. So we're really privileged. Thank you for that, Christine. And Steve. Well, you've got to have the full range. Yeah, of course. And, and we appreciate that. And we're going to bring this great craft product to you guys at an affordable price. Oh, gonna, it breaks my heart. It does. Uh, we, we negotiated. We, we, we negotiated. We got there in the end, didn't we? We did. We did. I must have been drunk. So... <laughs> Just, just talking through the gym boom. So, 2017-18. Wow, amazing. absolutely smashed it, didn't you? Smashed it, amazing. So tell me, tell me what happened then. What happened? Well, the the gin market and the liqueur market particularly became very, very, very competitive. Um, there were lots of other distillers bringing out liqueurs. I have to say, not as good as ours because we use our signature blend in all of our liqueurs. So it's a quality gin, not a base gin. Just to have so I've got to re-emphasise that. We've got an award-winning gin that goes into every single product. Yeah. So guys, when you're buying this, you're getting the real deal throughout the whole range. Yeah. Sorry, Christine. Nothing, nothing is done to cut corners, and that's why it's artisan, and that's why it, normally it's so expensive. Um, so the the gin boom hit. You've got you've had two hundred and odd distillers registered in the last twelve months. Uh, who are making gin so you've really got to stand out from the crowd and it hit us badly so in 2019 trade sales were, were taking a little bit of a dive so we realized very quickly we'd have to have our own website so we developed our own website threepugsgin.co.uk and we like and we that went live in july 2019 and um, thank god we did because then um, we all know what happened last year and without it, we probably wouldn't have been here. We would have been here, I think, but not in the, the in the mindset that we are now. You know, we've got a great range. We're going to beat this. We've got quality in a quirky bottle. Uh, our strap line is we bring you sunshine in a bottle. And that's no more truer than when you see the lemonade, uh, the lemony sherbet. I mean, the percent great. We're going to go more into specifics, but I just want to touch on... So Steve's won an award yeah. for being... It was bronze award. He didn't know I'd entered it either. I, so that's a surprise in itself. <laughs> what a great couple you are, by the way. You've got to say that. And secondly, you tell me about you've won a fantastic award. I'm proud of proudest day because I'm into entrepreneurialism. Yeah. Talk to me about your award. Um, in 2019, 2018, I was asked by a lady in Warrington if she could nominate me for award. And I went, oh, what do I have to do? She went, nothing. I just need your permission. And she didn't tell me where it is, and it turned out it was the Northwest North Wales Inspiring Women Awards Entrepreneur Category for 2019. So we all rocked up at the Lowry in May 2019. There was two other women who were in the finals, so there were three finalists. They were young entrepreneurs who were 
smashing their own markets. And I thought, I've got no chance here. Old woman, all as I do is make gin. They were making clothes that had been adapted for people with disabilities. They were, they were making equestrian um, saddles and wear that had also been adapted for people with disabilities. What do I do? I just make gin. Um, bugger me, sorry. I won. I bloody won. <laughs> so what was that award specifically? That was the Inspiring Women Awards for Northwestern North Wales Entrepreneur Category 2019. And I can say, you definitely inspire me. Thank you. Does he know that we're alive? How rude. I'm trying to sell some gin here. No but... more, Jake, please. Um, yeah, so fabulous, fabulous story. Congratulations on the award. Like I say, it's really, Thanks, really Fash. inspiring. Um, we're going to talk about the product specifically, and we're going to talk about price. Now, generally speaking, I don't want to mention any names, but if you Google these, you'll see the price of them. They retail for around about 35 to 40 quid each. Now, this is a when it's gone, it's gone. Limited edition, so you're going to get the signature gin. Now, if you look, I just want to home in on this, at the back of every, just these just two. Just the full strength. The full strength ABV. If you look at the back of it... Through that gap. So just explain what that is, Christine, on the back. That is an illustration of Pepsi Tutu and Mojo that's hand-drawn by our nephew. So you can see, as you're drinking it, and you can see through the clear one, as you're drinking the black current one, you will the, the, pugs, the pugs will get revealed. A great little feature. You know what? This bottle's so nice, you won't throw it away anyway. Yeah. So you can make it into a lamp, whatever you want. And then you've got the pugs in the background. Any pug or dog lovers, this is the perfect Easter gift for you. We're hopefully going to try and run this till the stock lasts. We've got enough stock to probably last. Going off rate of sale should last up until Easter, we're hoping. If it sells out some, so you can take your time. But what I would say is if you see something now and you want it, go and grab it. Uh, we're going to start with both of these. These are 16.99 each. So it took us a while to get to this price. A lot of negotiating. Off the back of this, it's all about buying local and using inspiration, seeing the product. Because once this is gone, you, if you like the product, you have to go back. We're going to have to go back to the normal price, buy a crispy, buy a inspiration, buy the likes of Selfridges and stuff. So it's a one-off deal. And I can't emphasize that um, as much as I already am doing. The other thing I would say is what we're running, and you've got these, see these lovely glasses here? So these are expensive in themselves, the glasses. The unique, tell me about the glass a little bit. Well, I chose that design because you've got the squatness of the little leg and the rotundness of the body to mirror the pug. And they're half pints, aren't they're they? They're half pint glasses. Holds a beautiful half pint of cold beer in the summer. And I'm not, not embarrassed to say that because I don't just drink gin. I drink lots of other things as well. Um, so it's a half pint glass. It's our new design as well. Um, the old design had a thicker lip around the top. It was a bit more bulbous, which meant you struggled to get the drugs that you drink out, actually, unless you had a straw. And um, this was denser. It didn't go as far down. So I think these are far more elegant. And the best thing, the best thing for the washing up people in your family, dishwasher safe and friendly. I love it. I love, I love the detail you've gone into there. So the deal that we're offering is across the range by any three products. This includes the gift boxes, which we're going to go into in a set. So if you buy three of the cheapest gift boxes, you're going to get a glass. If you buy that, that, and a parade, which we're going to talk about in a set, you get a glass. Any three products. I have to specify it's only one per customer per order. So... If you buy six products, you don't get two glasses, unfortunately. These glasses are very expensive to produce, especially with this design. So, any three products, you get a free glass. That'll automate through the checkout. We've sorted that, our kids sorted that out before. Moving on nicely to the parade. Now that's this, the it, sorry, that's the parade, isn't yeah. it? Sorry, I'm getting confused. This is the palace. Tell me what's in there, you've and got, over to you. You've got in here, the miniatures of the big drunken bottles, and we call them puglets. Um, so you've got the mini puglets and you've got a glass. I don't know if it's a new glass in this one or not. No, it's a new glass in there as well. So if you bought three products and got a free glass, you're actually going to get two if you buy a palace. Bargain. But on the box here, I wanted to call it a pug's palace because my pugs are my babies. So on the front, you've got Pepsi guarding the door. 
Then we have Tutu acting daft as normal. Then we have Mojo having a snooze because she's our eldest, she's 11. And then on the back, you've got Mr. Incredible and his beautiful wife. Wow. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> oh, and who goes? He goes who back. Goes back? Oh, wow. So we're offering this at 14 99 I can't see. I presume you can see this. 14 99 that's, there... that's a £5 discount, that. Was there something inside? You sure? Inside. Yeah, in the you lid, get you get a suggested serve sheet. Because mm. when I used to buy gin, before I was a distiller, I used to get them home and not know what to serve them with. So we do a suggested serve sheet. And you've also got your three pugs gin coaster. Which on the front, we've got the three happy pugs. And on the back, well, uh, wow. well mm. say no more. So, I'm not going to go into the parade yet. We're going to do that last because we're going to go into the liqueurs. So... Talk to me, these liqueurs are all one flat price. They're $12.99 each. So, ginspiration.uk, special offers, and then go to Three Pugs Takeover, you can see all the products. Now, if we're gonna go through, every, let's go through every one specifically. Okay, we'll do the shimmering ones first. Yeah. So, your strap line when you're drinking these gins is shake to shimmer before you pour. And then you get your beautiful swirly blue bubble gum. It does exactly what it says on the tin. And it Come tastes on. like bubble gum. It's called by, it's called, this one's called Lovely Bubbly Pugalicious. And the pugs have got their blue baseball caps on with bubbles. Best served with this is either tonic, lemonade, or Prosecco. Or if you like me, keep a bottle in the fridge. Hard day at work, peeling the spuds, bit fed up, little shot hiding behind the spuds. Goes down a storm. Another shimmer for you. Then our lemony sherbet. The pugs went on a picnic, you know, under a, a lemon sherbet tree. Didn't know what they were under until one fell on Pepsi's head. <laughs> and she came home and said, why don't we make lemony sherbet gin? So we did. And this is called Majestically Zesty Pugtastic Fizz. And it's a candescent shimmer. It's not as it's not as deep as the other shimmer because the lemony sherbet sweet is that colour. So that that is a refreshing citrus. So summer and Easter's coming up. Absolutely, it's perfect spring and summer drink mixed with prosecco. I like oh, the sound of that mixing with gorgeous. prosecco. My favourite. Yeah, that's a great idea, and it will make your prosecco shimmer as well. It does, does. And then we've got and this then, one. Last but not least, our candy floss, rise of the unicorn pugs, and it's called that because. They heard the fairground princess had been captured by the evil king. The evil king is sat over there. The fairground princess is Louise, our daughter. And um, they didn't like it, so they rose as unicorns and rescued her from the tower where she was Brilliant. captured. I'm loving the stories. I'm loving the stories. So that's our candy floss. And it tastes like candy floss from the fair. There's a little burnt texture right at the end. Yeah. Makes you think you've had a candy floss off the woman on the fair with her metal... Candy Floss Dubra. Fantastic. So, just to reiterate, $12.99, $12.99, $12.99. Buy all three, you get a free glass. It's as simple as that. Any three items within this category is a free glass. Yeah. You have to, we can't honour two glasses per order. No. So, it's as simple as that. Um, moving on. Bakewell Tart, by another one by the fab fabulous Baker Pugs. Um, Bakewell Tart. I didn't want to call it cherry bakewell because it's not. This is the best bakewell tart you'll ever taste. It's layered, you get the cherry, then the almond, then the frangipan, then the pastry, and then you need the icing. So you rim your glass with icing sugar, or you put icing flowers in as your garnish. Again, tonic, lemonade, if you've got a really sweet tooth, or prosecco, fabulous. And they all look amazing when you mix them as a cocktail. Um, so that's our bakewell tart. We've already spoke about the apple, apple crumble. crumble. Baker Again, pumps. same deal, twelve ninety nine, twelve yeah. ninety nine. And last but not least in the liqueur range and is cream soda. Pepsi thought of this when she heard about Meghan and Harry, but it's a bit of a sad tale now, isn't it? Because they've buggered off. They have, yeah. But the pet, the the pugs went on a road trip to America, hired um, a Cadillac, and drove down Route sixty six. Got a bit thirsty, called it a diner, tried cream soda for the very first time, loved it so much, came home and made it. And there's Pepsi in her top hat, an American top hat. And they're all, they're all bottled, labelled, waxed by hand, by myself and Steve and Louise. Nothing is um, 
automated. automated. We've got a semi-automated filling machine, but you've still got to yeah. hold the bottle on your it. So it's all automated. It's a true handcrafted. There's, there's not many on the market. But you can see the labels differ in where we put them. That will depend on who's doing it, because we do it by eye. Yeah. With our own fair hands. So it's an authentic product. Yeah, definitely. And then we're moving over to this. So if you want to, this is, this is great. So this is the parade. Now this is great because you get an opportunity for little money to sample. Yeah. So again, if you add this, so let's say you're struggling to get to the to the glass, you can buy three of these and you'll get a glass. Yeah. You can buy two of those and one of them and get a glass. So if you want to spend less money and still get the glass, there's, there's accessibility to the glass still. Talk to me about this. Well, this is our Pugs Parade and it's called a Pugs Parade because you see on our bottles we have the Pug Pile with the pug, because that's how they sit at home, they actually sit on top of each other. Couldn't fit it on the label, so I decided to do them as a parade. These are the shimmers, all the three shimmers, your bubble gum, your lemony sherbet, and your candy floss. Each pug has got their own blend. Names are on the box. And it's a fairground scene, which links back to the candy floss, really. But all the colours of our liqueurs are on here, and there's Mr Incredible and his beautiful wife in the stocks, while Tutu, Throws wet sponges at us. So that's uh, eight ninety nine. Bargain. Do you know them dogs have been really well behaved. I know they're fabulous. Aren't Not they? like our Boris. <laughs> Look, Pex has gone to sleep. Oh, oh, that's brilliant. I just want to thank Christine, and there's a message here, um, and Steve, uh, for your great distilling. Congratulations thank on the you. award. There's a message here that we're trying to emphasise, and it's shop local. Yes. Yeah? Shop handcraft. Yes. And you're going to get handcrafted gear that's. It's had a lot of passion. You put your heart and soul into this product. Can I just mention the black currant? Of course you can. We didn't really talk about the black currant. This is made with black currant concentrate. There's nothing artificial in any of our flavours. We work with a flavour manufacturer and she uses all natural flavours. It's nothing synthetic. This is a black currant concentrate. Can I just tell you, if you have this, the ginger ale, it's like Ribena on speed. It's fabulous. Love it. I think I need to try that. Ribena, Ribena on, speed. on speed. Ribena on speed. Not never, that I've never had speed. No, well, <laughs> no comment. No comment. Back in the day, perhaps. I don't know. I can, you know, <laughs> memory doesn't serve me well. So Ribena on speed. I love that. I'm going to actually take a bottle home with that. Thought in mind. Fabulous. Especially for the weekend, guys. Yeah. So we've got an all natural lineup. We're just going to go through and summarise the prices. So the full these are full strength ABVs. Forty two percent. Forty two percent a piece. Four, si no, that's forty. That's forty. Forty two percent. Sixteen ninety nine. Absolute less than half price. These are almost half price at twelve ninety nine each ABV on them. Twenty percent. All twenty percent ABV. We've got the palace with the glass inside. The story on the back. The tasty notes, the drip yeah, mat, yeah. all that, fourteen ninety nine. There's a fiver saving on that, and we've got the three pugs parade, all shimmer, eight ninety nine. So these are huge savings. I want to say thank you, dogs. Thank you, pugs. Three pugs. Half of them are asleep. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Thank you, Christine. Lovely to see you again. Thank you, Arnie, Thanks, for filming. Guys. And we're out and of here.